Yes, 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 yes. The Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is definitely worth it. And for sure, a worthy upgrade, especially if you're like me, coming from a Galaxy Active 2. With that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay, so first and foremost, happy holidays to you guys. I definitely had a great time for the holiday season, to say the least. And happy New Year's to you guys as well. This holiday season was amazing, and I was gifted the brand new Galaxy Watch 6. For me? For me? That's for you. Oh, wait. Okay. Look like a bottle. Is a bottle in there? It's a baby which I end up later upgrading to the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic and for good reason like the fact that I'm still rocking the Galaxy Active 2. With that being said we are going to break down some of the key features and specs that makes the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic a top tier watch. Okay, so first thing that comes as no surprise, Samsung brought back the rotating bezels. Now, if you don't know, now you know. Now, but all jokes aside, this was a killer feature for some of the previous Galaxy watches. But for some reason, the last gen Galaxy Watch 5 didn't get this feature for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. And which kind of had a lot of people upset and kind of wanted to skip over the Galaxy Watch 5. Now, I ain't gonna lie, my first Galaxy Watch was the active too. So I ain't never got the experience the rotating bezel. Mine was always rotating around the screen. But I can honestly say, hands down, what we have in the brand new Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, the rotating bezel is definitely a game changer. Now, what Samsung has done is remastered the bezel and made it 15% smaller than some of the previous Galaxy Watches, which looks and makes the display appear a lot bigger which is actually a plus. This time around, Samsung's offering a 43 millimeter and a 47 millimeter in a Galaxy Watch Classic, and in the regular Galaxy Watch 6, they're offering a 40 millimeter and a 44 millimeter. Now, this is only three meters bigger than the regular Galaxy Watch, but that's just due to the bezel. And now, one upgraded feature that the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic has over the Galaxy Watch 6 is the fact that it will be using a stainless steel build which should be a lot more durable and scratch resistant. And this is all compared to the older models and the Galaxy Watch 6, which is made out of the aluminum body, which is a little bit more prone to scratches. Now, as far as the screen goes, Samsung won with the Sapphire Crystal, which should hold up very well against scratches and damages. But if you go with the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, you shouldn't really have to worry too much due to the fact that the bezels are raised. And 9 times out of 10, that should block most of the hits or damages that could possibly happen to it. This watch will be rated IP68, which is basically water and dust resistant, up to so many meters of feet in water. Although I wouldn't recommend anybody to put their expensive watch in some water. It just doesn't make sense. But the thought of this should give you some peace of mind just due to the fact that if you did drop it in some water, you should be good. Now, let's take a closer look. We got two buttons on the side which should help you with certain features or help you wake the device, depending on whatever mode you're in. You also got the rotating bezel, which can help you navigate through the home screen, even the app drawer, or maybe even some text messages. And on the back side, you got your ECG and a bunch of other sensors that help you monitor your health. Now, on the top and bottom of the watch, you got a mic and a speakerphone. So hands-free should never be a problem should you ever be away from your phone. Now, even though the Watch 5 Pro has a much bigger battery and can last you up to three days without a charge, the Galaxy Watch 6 and 6 Classic isn't too far behind that. I mean, Samsung claims that these two watches should give you at least two days of battery life. But from my review and what I've seen of others, most people are getting about a little over a day or, or a day and a half. And that's not bad considering the fact that everybody goes to sleep and everybody takes showers. Okay, wait, 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 wait. All jokes aside, from my use of using my old Galaxy Active 2, I was barely able to get a full day of use. 
Unless I was in ultra safe power mode. I found that if I go and take a shower and put on clothes, give or take, that should be about 30 minutes or maybe a little longer. And for me, with the watch being on the charger for about 30 minutes, that definitely gave me enough to be able to run for the whole day. And keep in mind, I'm a little bit different than most people because I actually do sleep with my watch on. And I know most people don't sleep with their watch on, which is also another time that you could charge a watch. But all in all, what I'm basically trying to say, with about 30 minutes of charge every single day, if you take a shower or go to sleep or do whatever you got to do, that should give you enough juice to be able to help you run through the whole full day. Okay, so this time around, Samsung has done something a little bit different with the way you deattach and reattach the bands. See, the original way, which was a sliding pin that releases the bands, but now they implemented a newer way, which is a push button release pin mechanism. Now, so far from my experience, the push button mechanism is definitely an easier way to go. But I don't have nails, nor do I have smaller fingers. So I kind of did feel like it was a little hard to press the button. At least to me, it was kind of hard. And it definitely took me a few tries to definitely get this removed. I mean, it just kind of felt like I really had to manhandle it and fiddle around and play with it in order to be able to get it detached. And keep in mind, I probably was going a little light. It is a brand new watch and I don't treat it like my older watch. So yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I, I just didn't want to break it or damage it. In, in, I just didn't want to break it or damage it in any kind of way. Now for the actual band itself, it does sport a very comfortable feel like a rubber smooth kind of material. Not sure what to call it. And I could definitely say after extended periods of time, my arm never experienced fatigue. Okay, so what is powering this brand new Galaxy watch? For start, this watch should be much faster due to the fact that it has a new processor. Alongside with Wear OS 4 and UI 5 watch. So basically, what does all that mean? All the new sensors should be more accurate and more track worthy. Meaning being able to track your heart rate easier and also being able to track your workout sessions. Also, another neat little feature that Samsung added is when you open up the camera on your phone, it actually displays it on your watch. Now, this is dope and definitely a handy feature due to the fact that if you're trying to take a group photo, you will be able to easily be able to figure out if everybody is in the frame correctly. And you know, Samsung still got the old features where you can use the Samsung watch to locate your phone if you ever misplace it. Or vice versa, if you somehow misplace your watch, you can use your phone to find it. And we should also be getting a couple of other features like the Samsung Pay and the full wallet experience. Now, Samsung did keep us in mind with the sensors on the back. And here's why. So from the previous watches, they used to have a green LED light that would show every single time you move your arm or it's not fully placed on your arm. What Samsung has decided to do is change it from green to infrared. So now you shouldn't have those weird glowy green things happening at night when you're trying to sleep. Now, what's inside these new watches? We will have two gigs of RAM instead of having 1.5 like the previous watches and 16 gigs of storage alongside with Bluetooth 5.3. There is a upgrade on the chip this time around moving from the Exynos 920 to the Exynos 930 which should be a great deal faster as the Exynos 920 was in the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Galaxy Watch 5. All in all, what does this all mean? That basically, the brand new Galaxy Y6 has top tier specs. That's it. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering which watch I have on during this video. And I have on the 47 millimeter Galaxy Y6 Classic. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. I went through a four day process of trying to figure out which size should I get. I mean, should I get the 43 millimeter or should I get the 47 millimeter, right? But after putting them side by side, and you gotta keep in mind, I do have the Active 2 Galaxy Watch. So after putting the 43 millimeter up to the 44 millimeter, it just seemed like that one was just a little too small. But after I put the 44 millimeter up to the 47 millimeter, it wasn't really that much bigger, which in the end led me to pick the 47 millimeter watch. And I mean, bigger screen, you really can't go wrong. You feel me? And I just feel like it looks a little bit better. And for comparison to your wrist versus my wrist, my wrist is about 6.5 inches. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of help on deciding on which Galaxy watch you want, the 43 or the 47. With all that being said, I just want to say that I'm super excited that I got this brand new Galaxy watch. And I know I was gifted the Galaxy watch 6, but I went ahead and upgraded to the Galaxy watch 6 Classic. And the reasoning why I did that is because I wanted my watch to give the more look of a real watch. 
Now, nothing against my Galaxy Active 2. That was cool. But this time around, I always wanted something that was a little bit more elegant, a little bit more smooth that I can wear when I go out to eat or go to an elegant place. And I'm going to tell you for sure, man, I definitely like this watch. I almost offended by both of them, the silver one and the black one. But the only reason why I held back on the silver one is because the majority of the stuff that I wear is black. And I just kind of really like the way the black goes with my every day-to-day -day fits. Yeah. I'm going to drop all the links down below so you guys can pick up either a Galaxy Watch 6 or a Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. And, yeah, I am an Amazon affiliate, which is no extra cost to you. But if you guys do click the link, I do get a small commission from Amazon. So, I appreciate it if you guys do click the link. Alright, guys, this definitely wraps this up for me. Hopefully, you guys were able to get a good idea and understanding on which watch might be for you. No matter if it's the Galaxy Watch 6 or the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Again, subscribe to my page if you're not already a subscriber. And if you can, comment down below which watch you guys are probably going to get. And if you can, throw a watch emoji if you got all the way this far in the video just to let me know that you guys are rocking with me. Again, it's your boy Party Boy, and I'm out.